Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your May Astrological Insights Forecast. I am your astrologer, Maria De Simone, and I do have some very exciting news to share with you about the month of May that you are going to want to take advantage of as much as possible. Before I tell you about that, I do want to let you know that registration is now open for my next beginner's astrology class. So if you have been thinking about becoming a student of mine, this class is only offered twice a year, so I won't be offering it again until later in 2025. And when you join this class, you enter into a whole astrology tribe. You become a part of my astrological family, and I really do nurture you as a student. This is a foundational class, so you will properly learn about the basic structure of a birth chart, planets, signs, houses, elements, and modes, and so much more. And you will be able to start to think astrologically for yourself starting in this class. So if you're interested in joining this class, go and click the link below. Registration allows you to save $50 now because it's the early bird tuition rate. So go to insightfulastrology.com, claim your spot. If you can't attend live, don't worry. All classes are recorded, so you will get the recordings after. All right, so let's talk about the month of May because it's one of those transitional months and it's, uh, it can become very exciting for you. We do start with heavy Taurus influence continuing. So the first half of the month is really about <clears throat> your third house. The third house is communication, short trips, the mind, and it's a very mental area. And there's a new moon here on May 7th. So that says there's a new beginning here in a third house matter. But this new moon is no ordinary new moon. It actually is a very beautiful new moon because half of the sky is in your third house at this time. So there's this cluster of energy, the sun, the moon, Venus, Jupiter, Uranus, all in your third house at the time of this new moon saying, hey, Pisces, let's, let's start something new in a third house way. And whatever it is that we're starting, we know it's going to be good. We know it's going to be big. So if you have wanted to learn a new language or take a trip, or if you wanted to write that book, or start a podcast, whatever this is for you, communications related, or uh, travel, local travel related, maybe you want to buy a car, maybe you're going to buy your dream car. This could also be a time when a sibling uh, brings really good blessings or news or an opportunity your way that you'll want to take advantage of. On the 18th, Venus and Uranus make an exact conjunction in Pisces. This aspect is known as the affair aspect, but also the love at first sight aspect. So if you are single or not single, it doesn't really matter what your relationship status is. You could still easily meet someone and this person might be introduced to you through a sibling. You might meet this person in your neighborhood. Somebody may suddenly move into your apartment building, for example, and you're like, whoa, totally smitten immediately. Somebody might move on to your block and buy a house on your block and there's a sudden love connection happening now. You get the idea. If you're in a relationship, it would be a great time to take a short trip with your lover because you will have an amazing time. And on the same day, the sun and Jupiter meet up for an exact conjunction. And this is a very benevolent, happy link. It is also about faith and, um, and almost a, like a mentorship energy because Jupiter is a very benevolent, wise planet. And in the third house, I wonder if you have an opportunity to teach what you know or to broadcast a message in a big way that a lot of people are going to see and shine a light on you, or if somebody else is coming into your life and giving you an opportunity. Either could be happening for you in that third house way with that conjunction. Now, when we get to the 23rd, there is a full moon at the top of your chart, which is your career sector, and that can signal a transition professionally for you. It doesn't have to be too dramatic, but for some of you, it might be. For some of you, it might be a career shift completely, or you find out that your boss is retiring or leaving his or her position. It could also be something connected to one of your parents, an emotional situation with a parent that's happening. If you are very happy and fulfilled in your career path, you might be in the spotlight now for an achievement related to your career. So that is also a possibility this full moon. But a couple of days later, we have a big transit. Your traditional ruler, Jupiter, is changing signs on May 25th. And for the first time in 12 years, 
will go into your fourth house of home, family, real estate, and stays here for a year. With Jupiter here, you're going to have a big expansion now connected to home family matters. When Jupiter is in your fourth house, it, it's going to blow up family stuff. So if you have family crisis, drama, or not so great things going on, it could blow that up for you. But if Jupiter is energetically wants to be protective, Jupiter here will help you restore contentment. To your family situation at some point over the next year, even if it's not, even if it's just exposing all the difficult stuff at first, it will, it wants to restore contentment. So don't think that you're going to have a whole year of family drama. I don't think that's the case. I do feel that overwhelmingly you will have some kind of an upsize to your living situation. You may move into a bigger house or apartment. You might renovate, redecorate, make it happier. It's restoring your living contentment. If you live with someone, let's say, and you hate this person, maybe it's a roommate, maybe it's a family member, you're fighting, restoring your living situation would, your contentment would require that that person move out or that you move out. So that's possible during this time period. As one example, it is also a time where family expansion can be literal. Somebody may be having a baby and uh, there could be multiple <laughs> indications of family closeness and expansion and togetherness. People may be moving uh, back to live closer to you if they've been far away. Your, um, your nest, let's say you thought you had an empty nest. Well, maybe one of your kids is coming back to live with you. That could be uh, what happens over the next year. And so it, it's a definite time of real estate energy as well. You may buy a, another home, a vacation home, a retirement home. Uh, you know, some kind of uh, Airbnb or second place, you know, that all energy is there for you. Because it's in the sign of Gemini, there is that duality. So more than one home is possible and would be beneficial and profitable for you during this time. So Pisces, let me know what's going on in your home and family life and everything else in the comments below, how it all works out for you, how you anticipate this Jupiter transit will look like for you over the next year. I want to hear all about it. And I will talk to you next month.